for joining us. My name is Sharon Momani. Now, there was a fire incident this morning at the Sarit Center here in Nairobi, and we understand that the fire has since been put out, but our Timothy Otieno is there nonetheless to find out what exactly happened. Good afternoon, Timothy. What do we know at this point? Well, good afternoon, Sharon. Uh, we are right now at the Sarit Center here in Westlands, Nairobi, where a fire had broke out uh, mid-morning at this particular premise that houses over 100 shops and stalls within this upmarket neighborhood in Nairobi. Now, the fire has since been contained, but it has been a long struggle uh, by, of course, the county fire department as well as uh, the management here at Sarit Center who have been uh, going relentlessly and trying to ensure that the fire has been put out. So right now, uh, it appears like it has been contained, but Sharon, that was not the case just a few minutes ago. This is a fire that we are told started at about 10 a.m. this morning from one of the shops that is, in the, is located at the ground floor of this particular facility. Now, by extent, by by extent, it appeared that the situation had been contained, except a few minutes ago, where it appears again the fire may have been reignited inadvertently, even as the firemen were trying to put out the fire. It appears uh, one of the, according to the people whom we're speaking to, it appears that one of the sockets uh, that uh, the power supply to those particular to that particular socket had not been put out, and there was a mini explosion that led to uh, a re-emergence of the flames, but it appears that has since been contained. Now, there's been fire engines from the Nairobi City County that have been trying to contain the situation since morning. And uh, right now, uh, we are seeing a little bit of slack. Uh, the environment appears to be much more calm. Uh, most of the tenants at this particular facility have since been evacuated and have been told to keep off so you could perhaps see a stretch of people lining up all the way to my far left. They have been kept away. There are, of course, two ambulances here, and we've been speaking to some of the medics uh, with, who work for the Kenya Red Cross who are telling us that they are treating a few of the tenants in this particular facility for smoke inhalation. Nothing serious, but they will be fine. They have not told us exactly the number of people uh, they are treating for smoke inhalation, but they have told us that uh, they are going to be fine and it's uh, really nothing much to worry about. But right now, Sharon, I want to see if I can be able to talk to one of the tenants uh, who, of this particular uh, facility, just to paint us a better picture of exactly what might have happened. So thank you so much uh, for speaking to KTN News. Perhaps you could begin by telling us your name and uh, give us an account of what happened uh, from your standpoint. Okay, it, started, it was around 10. Okay, my name is Eliud Karioki. I work in one of the shops in Sarit Center. It's called Secrets for Men. Uh, around 10, there was a, fa a smoke that started coming from one of the shops at the ground floor. And uh, somehow we went and checked, and uh, the smoke again was contained. And we went back to our business. Later on, over the time, uh, it was reported again, uh, it started emerging, uh, becoming more and more. So everybody was asked to evacuate the building. So we evacuated. Over the time, again, uh, we were told the fire again has gone down. Later on, it continued emerging. So the shop is actually right to the, I am from the, sh is the below where I am working. And uh, we are very, very affected. So, but we are hoping everything is going to be better. So have you had any official communication from the management at Sarit Center as a tenant uh, of this particular facility in regards to perhaps what may have caused the fire in regards to evacuation? Uh, what I'll say about the management Sarit Center, they are really trying their best to help in uh, containing the fire. So for the time, be, uh, the time there is no formal communication between the tenants and the, the, the staff, the official of the Sarit Center. But uh, everywhere I can see them, they are all around. They are helping as much as they can. So everybody, they are doing their best they can do. Are you satisfied with the progress of uh, trying to contain the fire? It's a fire that began at 10 a.m. It's now 1 p.m. and it appears 
even if my colleague uh, Johnson Lagat can just pan, I'll get back to you. As you can see, Sharon, there, it appears smoke once again is re emerging. When we began this link, the air had been clear, but this has been what we've been witnessing periodically. Once in a while, the smoke goes away, then it re emerges, it goes away, it re emerges. So that has really been the characteristic this morning at this particular facility, even as the men and women of the fire department try to put it out. But, Elliot, before I let you go, uh, last question. Are you satisfied with the progress of the operation so far as a tenant and as a business person who has directly been affected by this fire? Somehow I'll say we are very disappointed. And uh, even though it's a bit tricky, based on the fact that uh, the fire has been caused by the smoke and the electric fault, so the entire building is full of smoke. But uh, what I may have asked is about the fire brigade in a way that if there was a possibility, they could have carried the oxygen with themselves because the entire place is, uh, is, is very dark and the lack of oxygen. So they are unable to fight uh, the fire accordingly. But somehow they are doing their best, I can say, and uh, have been even helping them one way or the other. And uh, so what I can say in short is that uh, we are not very much happy into this modern world and uh, the modern uh, kind of asari center is supposed to have a better equipment to fight the fire and uh, even though the fire brigade came here at least on time they tried to come here on time but there was no proper method of fighting the fire All right. yes all right, thank you so much, uh, Eliud Karioki, for yes. speaking to KTN News, and we certainly wish you all the best. Uh, but of course, uh, Sharon, that is the situation here. Sarit Center did come out earlier on this morning to try and communicate to its clientele and, of course, the tenants, sending out a tweet. I'll just quickly read it. We would like to inform all our tenants and shoppers that there was a small fire in one of our outlets on the ground floor, which has now been contained uh, by the Sarit Center security team, as well as the Nairobi. Nairobi County Fire Department. No injuries have been reported so far. Now, this is a tweet that was sent at 11.09 in the morning. And we can confirm here at KTN News that the fire emanated from a ground floor shop that was a printing press. It was one of the shops that were printing materials for some of the tenants and outside clientele. And that is where the fire is, appears to have emerged. And as, as it is right now, they're still trying to contain it, Sharon. Many thanks, my colleague there, Timothy Otieno, giving us that situational update on the fire that broke out at the Sarit Center, telling us that the situation has been contained. Of course, we could see there from the pictures, but says some smoke can still sporadically be seen. So he's monitoring that uh, situation and will give us a comprehensive report in our subsequent bulletins. Now, at least